Phoenix sit. So here's her collar. It's just a loop around and a twist at the bottom. Oh, I can't show it to you. And uh, she's been barking, so let's keep it going. Let her have her head until she starts to bark. And then we bring her on the short leash and bring her attention back. Of course, now she's on video, she won't bark at all. Usually if her nose is engaged, she's good. Come on, let's go. Nope, let's go. Nope, sit. Phoenix, good girl, good sit. Hey, what's this? What's this? Ooh, it's a goodness for you. Okay, let's go. Good girl. No, sit. Hey, good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, let's go. Hey, sit. Good girl. Let's go. Come on. When she barks at something, like another dog or a squirrel, I'm not really that concerned except when she completely loses her mind and we have to learn how to bring her back from that but i mean i'm not gonna be upset that a dog's talking to her and she answers <coughs> gotta do that come on <coughs> hey sit <coughs> phoenix Do you want a goodness for that? Because that was a good sit. Good sit. There we go. Okay. No lunging. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So the part that I couldn't video for you is when I take both dogs and uh, they feed... Oh, that's a dog. She's seen... Phoenix, come. Hey. Come here. Sit. Um, right. So uh, when I, we've tried not to walk the two of them together because it's training time and we needed to have decent behavior before we put two things together that we're going to set each other off. But it's turning out that when I leave at Phoenix at home, she has such sem separation anxiety from me, especially if I take Aspen too. And that's the whole point. If I've taken Aspen for a walk and left her at home with Mike, she barks and whines the whole time. I was trying to make a video of that so you could see it. And of course, freakishly, today, she stared at the door and 
nicely and did nothing. She's never done that before. She'll never do it again. But anyway, I'll send you a video of that when I can make one. Um, so anyway, the point is I can't leave Mike, who's working at home, uh, to deal with this crazy dog for an hour while I walk Aspen. So I've been for the last week walking the two of them together. And they aren't as bad together as they were initially, but they are still so difficult to deal with. We, we kind of go along at a, at a pace and a process that's acceptable until just one little thing puts them over and then they're over for so long in the walk. You know, if she sees a squirrel or Aspen sees a dog, dogs are triggers for Aspen. Uh, Phoenix doesn't really care. She doesn't mind seeing dogs at all. Or, but once they start, then Phoenix won't stop barking at anything. She just barks constantly all the way home. And it's very hard to video this because my hands are full of dogs and Mike is busy in his office, so he can't video me. I'm going around in circles. I'm saying I will send you a video of the really troublesome time soon when I can, but help. Thanks.